morning, y'all. Beautiful fall day. Uh, two degrees Celsius this morning. Yeah, the computer's still down. I'm gonna shoot one on my phone here, believe it or not. It's way easier to do on my phone. Uh, GPU issues, bigger hard drive, more RAM, blah, blah, blah. 4K maybe? If we're gonna do it, may as well do it right, eh? This is fitting though. So anyhow, a guy offered me a deal. I just couldn't turn it up. And uh, you may as well come see what we got going on. I don't know if this is the same as what uh, Matt's Off-Road Recovery has. Check out their channel. Maybe some of their viewers will watch my channel. If I uh, got one of these two, maybe I should replicate what they got going on. She's a little three-seater, maybe more. We're looking for a four-cylinder engine with an automatic trans. It had a standard in it. I don't want to go that way. The uh, big one's got a standard in it. So let's, let's go the other way. Anyhow, a um, little cab, right? It's got little suicide doors. And then we got tracks. Tracks are going to need to be rebuilt. Don't know if we'll do another video on that. At least these ones are like a fraction of the size of what they got going on with the other ones, right? So I'll try to stand in the sun. Cute little thing. Uh, Bombardier, I believe. It's got a little winch on the front. Big old, big old clevis on the front of it. And uh, cute little trailer hitch on the back. So the motor mounts backwards and drives to the front. I don't know much about them. This is just as much of a learning experience for anybody of you that doesn't know much about them. So I'm assuming it's got a reverse gear set in the diff, which makes everything go the other way, but whatever. It's neither here nor there. The guy that had it cut the floor pans out of it. So, or not the floor pans, the, the running board kind of deals here. That's why you can see right through to the tracks right now, or where the tracks would be. So, I'm thinking that shouldn't be too bad to fix up. I might even have some diamond plate that's big enough to go in there. Aluminum, one way or another, not a big deal. Uh, I figure I may as well get it unpackaged and throw some of this other stuff off to the side. And then... I might even just take the tub inside. If I'm going to do it, I'm probably going to paint it quick. Just because. Or maybe not. I don't know. The cab's in a little bit of rough shape. So let's pull this stuff out. I'll uh, set you guys down. And uh, yeah, we'll see how some time lapse editing goes, I guess, in, in uh, the rush phone world. So there we have it. A couple handles. Gonna have to figure out uh, just what takes place here. Anyhow, cute little diff. So those are obviously the brake where the brake levers attach. I'm gonna have to figure that out. 
Um, can't be too, too difficult because they were just, uh, I pulled them one on either side. We'll get an automatic in it, which is going to make it f super nice. And, uh, yeah, a couple other things and we'll carry on. There you have it we're back so we got some swiss cheese spots uh over here and over there i'm probably gonna just take a little bit of flat bar on that side i don't even know about this side maybe a little bit i'll fill them in a couple little bits and then uh other than that everything else i'm gonna leave it be we're gonna give it fresh paint those chunks that I, he had to go in here for floorboard are more than enough so We'll put a, a big thick coat of Sikaflex along here when we put her down and glue it and screw it and it'll be it'll be good. They'll never come out of there. I got the handles figured out. Some of you guys are gonna laugh at me because yeah, I realize a lot of you guys have probably already done ones like this, but anyhow, got the handles figured out, no big deal. Um left hand side was a clutch, so that's gonna disappear hopefully this one here is the brakes it had a driveline brake on there uh the same driveline brake does parking brakes you can stop them by pulling both brake levers down too but minor so we got her cleaned out um other than that you can see there is the one nozzle through the floor there and one through the floor there that I'm going to assume is for oil drain. So we'll put a pet cock on whatever we put in here for a motor for easy oil change. And that one I'm assuming is for the radiator. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward battery tray. Should be fun. We'll uh, get these couple of little spots cleaned up up here. And I'm going to paint the whole thing just so that it doesn't rust anymore.